Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another art tutorial on how to paint one of my previous paintings. It, it was entitled Crossroads and um, it's more of a sky painting as well but with more blended colors in it. And we're gonna try and use a different technique than the rounded brush technique this time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a thumbs up or a positive comment if you like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Follow me on all my social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So let's get to our video tutorial. So for this one, we have different colors in our sky. So we have blue, uh, dark blue, we have purple, we have pink, and we have yellow. So I'm just gonna prep the colors and I'm gonna show you what colors I'm going to use and blend. So um, this is for the purple. This is this color is called purple um, from Montemar. And then we have cobalt blue from Montemart as well. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me if my pronunciation is wrong. And then for the darker shades, I'm just going to mix them with lamp black. Then for the pink one, I'm going to use this Liquitex color, um, Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. So this is called Primary Red, but it's more of a pink to me. So I'm really loving this vibrant pink color, especially with my pastel paintings. When you mix this one with, um, with white, it really comes off as this baby pink um, color, which I really love. And then for the yellow, this is also be this will also be a primary yellow um, acrylic color basics from Liquitex. So these are the main colors that I'm going to be using. Anything that I'm going to use um, or any shade other than these colors, I'm going to add titanium white in them, just so I can blend them really well. So I'm going to try and use more. Um, water today i'm not sure if that's going to work but i just want to try and if not we're gonna go back to our rounded brush technique which i'm really used to it it has been tested before so let's get to it okay so welcome back this is the technique that i will try and teach you today this um i don't know what technique this is called but i'm trying to um research it and i've found that it, this technique is mostly used when you use watercolors instead of acrylics but I'm going to try and use it today for acrylics on a canvas instead of paper and see what effect will be try will be able to achieve so right now I'm just grabbing a brush a huge brush something like this um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of brush but for this one I prefer using a round brush and just try dabbing on uh, more colors onto the canvas as well. You want the colors to look as blended as possible. When you use this technique, make sure that you don't use a lot of paint because when you have a lot of paint, more than the water itself it's not going to blend as much as you'd like it to and try to focus on one color at a time if you don't have a lot of brushes to separate the colors so i'm trying to do that um i want to be as relatable as possible um with those beginners out there that i know art materials are really expensive so try and focus on one color at a time before moving on to the next so right now we're focusing on the blue so next we're moving on to the uh i think i'm going with the purple one now so here's the purple 
Let's see how that blends and that's really nice. I love the effect. This blends with my purple. Once you've done your first layer and after you painted the edges, you can go ahead and put on your second layer. I just want to make sure that these canvas marks, you know, something that um, aren't supposed to be in a painting, uh, is really covered up. So it's up to you on how much layers you want to do. But for me, do at least uh, two layers just to make sure that the colors really pop on your painting. Now if you'll notice, I'm not going over everything on the painting for the second layer. I'm choosing uh, different spots where I can add more dimensions, more depth, and more shading with my painting so it's really up to you on how you want to do that uh, make sure you visualize what you want to do how you want to do it but here is an example i'm just forming like very abstract shapes like clouds something you would see on the night sky if it was really colorful and just go with it and how you want to paint it how you want to um Look at it on your painting. So once you're done with your second base you can go ahead and grab a blow dryer or a heat gun or even an, an electric fan just something that would speed up the drying process so i'm going to use my blower for this time you could really just air dry it but for me um for me uh, or someone who has to do a lot of paintings after this tutorial i have to speed up the process <laughs> So now we are done with the drying part. I'm pretty sure there are some specific wet spots on there but that doesn't uh, really affect our whole um, painting for the next step. So I'm going to add stars and as usual I'm going to use the same technique we've done for the previous paintings or previous art tutorials I've done before on my channel. So just go ahead and follow along. the stars the last is the mountain landscape over here at the bottom of the painting and then i guess that's our last step uh, and then we're gonna be done so that's one 
mountain done i'm going to do the other side and this one is going to be more of a dark blue i think let this dry off a bit and then I'm gonna place it in the frame and show you guys the final product so here is the final product of the recreation of my painting called crossroads here are the details